Looks like we're live. Very good. Uh, okay, so this question comes up often enough, uh, and it's just come up recently again in support, so I'm going to do a video on it. Basically, the question is, how can I determine whether or not I'm using or how much volume goes over a given segment or whether or not I'm using a given segment of my road network? Uh, and I'm going to show you how you can do that with a little bit of a trick in terms of the precision that's involved in the results of your output schedule and particularly haulage profiles. So the question in this example that I'm gonna pose is how do I measure how much material travels over this segment of my road network? Um, in reality, I might be thinking about this entire road, but what I want you to do to start with is focus on a segment, as in between two points of that road network, that, that matches the conditions. Generally, it'd be like midway down a road, right? So just pick a point that's midway down your road or pick a segment midway down your road. And we're gonna focus very specifically in my example on the segment between this point and this point. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get that the distance that is between those two points and I'm gonna use that distance as basically a marker, a unique way of identifying that segment because of the amount of precision that the maths has in the background. Unless you've automatically drawn something every 50 or 100 meters, if you've hand drawn anything, uh, then you're gonna end up with basically a unique signature for this road network, for this road network segment. Uh, so we're gonna use that. So we're gonna to go to the whole profiles list and I'm gonna have a look at the whole profile uh, in the whole profile section. I'm gonna go and find this point. Now the point that I'm referring to here is gonna be if I'm going from my source towards my destination, which is how this will be listed. So from source towards destination, basically I'm wanting to find the point that ends at 147.6. So that's the, this one here, this 147.6. That's the segment I'm interested in. In particular, that's gonna give me my distance. So that 202 point whatever, I'm gonna copy that to my clipboard and that's basically gonna be what I use as my signature to, to detect this component of the road network. Uh, from there, what I'm gonna do is pop into my custom fields and I'm going to create a new segment. Uh, and what I'm looking for here is I'm gonna use the hall profile segments sum uh, formula. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, hold my control button down on my mouse and zoom in a bit so you can see that. I might just slightly adjust the way that I'm doing this so you can see it. And I'll put this in the comments of the video. Um, but basically what we're doing here is we're using an expression called ha ha pro haulage profile segment sum. It's a bit hard to say if you haven't practiced. All right, so under haulage profile segments sum, you can get a description of what it's actually going to do which is that it calculates the sum of the expression for all of the individual segments in the whole profile. So what that means is it's actually gonna give you the ability to assess uh, each of the individual uh, segments of your haulage profile. And so what I'm gonna do inside of that, so I'm gonna close that off for a second and remove the brackets for that. Then I've got an if statement. So basically I'm saying for each individual segment, check uh, the following condition. Okay, so I'm gonna close that if statement off for a second. I'm gonna break that up into three sections. So we've got the if, the true, and the false. Okay, so the, 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 the main trick here is the value that I actually put in was this number here. This was the number I copied from the whole segment section, and you can see it ended with a one. Basically, um, the amount of precision that goes into these is actually even more decimal places in the background that we might not show you. So you don't wanna go haulage one-way distance equals this number, what you wanna do is basically give yourself a tiny little bit of wiggle room. So basically all I've done is I've taken that one and I've shifted it, made it between, that says between zero and two. So anything that falls within that kind of range, plus or minus like, you know, the 10th decimal place, um, that's the main trick. If you try to do equals, you'll find sometimes it doesn't work. Just the way that computers work, the exactness of these numbers doesn't necessarily play along. Um, but basically if it meets that condition, uh, what's gonna happen is it's gonna return a one, and if it doesn't, it's gonna return a zero. Uh, and so that's gonna give me the ability to then uh, expand upon this. So this should only ever occur once per haulage profile. We're not gonna, it doesn't measure it. Uh, let's get rid of this bonus number that I did here. It's not going to uh, check it twice, like once for each direction. It's only gonna check it along like the, the loaded or the empty, it doesn't really matter. They're gonna be the same um, cycle. And so what you'll get out of that at the end is a one or a zero. So I've just got ones and zeros in my list. 
And basically what I can use then is that's that's a flag. That's a way for me to detect whether or not I used it. Now I could have used uh, a text, but the maths of this makes it nice and easy for me to now add an extra uh, like volume over segment. But basically all I do is I multiply my source quantity by this new user's segment value. You might want to use a has for profile uh, just in case you want to make sure these appear nicely. Uh, but then if I go back to my schedule, I create, actually I'll create a pivot table, it's probably a little bit nicer. I can go volume over segment and I can see that versus my regular source quantity. I can see that of my 130 million, you know, and source quantity is not a great number, but I can see about 20 million of that 130 million goes over that segment. That's it. Uh, that's the trick. Uh, I'll pop that expression into the comments, and uh, yeah, I hope that's helpful, uh, and have a nice day.